I put in some miles on both these boards. I put in miles on both the boards, so I've got some experience on both. I'll tell you. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Living life, spinning like a merry-go-round. Traveling all around the world, you know we get surround. Good vibes only. Good vibes. You know it's the one and only uh -huh. Justin Bravo. Come on. Yeah, that's my number one my homie. Number subscribe. One homie. Come on. Yo, goat gang, what's going on? Okay, I got a bunch of messages. People are asking me, wow, go 2S versus the Teemo. Which is the better board? And I'll tell you, um, you know, there's a lot to like about both of them. But I thought I would do a quick video so I could break it down, show you the differences. That way, if you're on the fence of which way to go, hopefully I can help you make a uh, little bit better decision. But go gang, I do like both these boards. I've reviewed both these boards in the past. Um, so I'm excited to kind of feature both of them. Uh, but let's get right after it because I can't carry both boards on my shoulder like this for very long uh, because, you know, I need them shoulder gains. and I'm, I'm just not there yet. Anyway, go gang, let's get after it. Let's check it out. And uh, man, I don't know, who are you rooting for? So right out the gate, you can see the WowGo 2S has a couple inches on the Teemo board. It's a little bit longer. Now, but I want to talk about the decks themselves. On the deck, the Teemo board is a little bit more concave than the WowGo 2S, but the WowGo 2S definitely has a nice concaveness to it. It's just not as concave as the Teemo. The Teemo board is all maple, so it's got some flex, but the WowGo 2S has one layer of bamboo, so I think it's got a little bit more flex to it. I think it's a little bit bouncier. So right now I'm jumping on the WowGo 2S. You can see it's got pretty good flex. It's moving around a lot, and I like this. This really makes for a comfortable ride. Now I'm gonna get back on the Teemo board, and the Teemo also flexing pretty nicely. Now, I don't know if this is 100% because of the material or because that WowGo 2S is a little bit longer, if that makes for a little bit better flex. But either way, I think WowGo 2S flexes a little bit nicer, so it makes for a little bit smoother of a ride. Now, a couple more features of this deck. The WowGo 2S has two sets of grip tape on it. One being kind of your standard grip tape, the back half being a little bit more aggressive, so you can really plant that foot a little nicer on the WowGo 2S. The Teemo has the same grip tape throughout and the branding in the center. Now, the deck is fastened down with Phillips screws on the Teemo board, and the WowGo 2S uses a hex screw, which I tend to find doesn't back out as much on you, and you don't have to go and adjust it quite as often. Um, so that would be the main differences on the deck themselves. I would say between the two, probably WowGo 2S uh, wins out a little bit on the deck. Now, where the Teemo outshines the WowGo 2S is on performance. It is rated to go a little bit faster, where the WowGo 2S um, is rated at 24 miles per hour. The Teemo can go 25, so it's not that much of a difference, but it does go a hair faster. Now, the Teemo comes stock with LG 6.4 battery. Now, that's an upgrade for the WowGo 2S. So, if you want the same battery, and, and just I'll do it for comparison's sake, um, you will spend a little bit more money on the WowGo 2S if you upgrade to that LG battery. That way, you're getting the same range. Now, you can pay about the same on the WowGo 2S, but you'll go with the regular battery and it doesn't have the same range, which on the LG is getting 13 to 15 miles. So if you want that longer range, and I would recommend it, it's not that much more to get that extra range. Um, you're gonna spend more on the WowGo 2S or the Teemo, you get that battery um, at a lower cost. Now, a lot of people ask me about the difference in the remotes. This right here is the Teemo remote. This right here is WowGo 2S's remote. They're very similar. I do like that Teemo has the little kind of finger hook there. I do like the way that um, kind of conforms to your hand. I will tell you though, the WowGo 2S has a lot better range of motion on the thumb wheel. You can go a lot further with this guy than you can here. This one is very minimal um, back on acceleration and braking where you get a lot more um, on the WowGo 2S. And finally we get down to ride. And this one, this one's tough. There's a lot of personal preference here. I put in some miles on both these boards. I put in miles on both the boards, so I've got some experience on both. I'll tell you, because the Teemo's a little bit more concave, I feel like you can carve, you can pivot a little bit easier on the Teemo. I do like that. I do think the flex is nicer on the WowGo 2S, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Now, probably my deciding factor comes down to, I really like 
the smooth, smooth braking and acceleration of the WowGo 2S. So if you're a beginner, if you're new to this game, I think the WowGo 2S is probably gonna be a little bit easier on your learning curve, um, just because it's so much smoother and with that bigger range of motion on the remote, um, it can accelerate smoothly and it can brake really smooth. But if you've been riding boards for a while, the ESC on the Teemo is really aggressive. So you hit that acceleration, it goes, um, you brake, it breaks. And some people like that control. They don't like the numbness of the ESCs that have really smooth acceleration and braking uh, because they wanna have a little bit more control of the board. Um, where the WowGo 2S I think is fantastic really for all spectrums. Um, it does really um, smooth out both the acceleration and braking where the Teemo kind of gives it to you aggressively. So that's really gonna be a preference for you. Uh, between the two, the Teemo is gonna save you money. It's uh, definitely a little bit more cost affordable. I happened to reach out to both uh, companies and they gave me discount codes for both and I'll put both those in the description so you can choose either one. So hopefully price won't be too much of a factor for you. Um, but really, both these boards, they're really fantastic boards. They're really good um, if you're looking to get in the Eastgate game. And I'll tell you, um, it's hard for me to always choose a winner on these and I'm not sure that I'm really gonna choose a winner because again, I think it comes down to what you're looking for in a board. So go gang, let me know your thoughts. Let me know which one you think wins, which one would be your winner. And if you own either one of these boards, go gang. It's always fun. It's always been a good time, man. I'm ready to uh, get on one of these boards right now. So I'm gonna let you go. And until next time, be great. Damn it, I hate when y'all make me choose between two boards. It's like choosing between plain M&Ms and peanut M&Ms. How can you make that choice? It just depends how I feel. Damn, now I feel like having M&Ms.